is a game your entertainment podcast. GameYourEntertainment.net, Game Your Entertainment Podcast Network. Hey you, do you like meat in your pockets? Well get some meat pockets. I'm Pocket Meat John, and I make the best meat pockets in all of Kermaga. We want some meat that you can carry around with you? Well, put it in your pocket and you can... Excuse me, what did you just say? Uh, uh, just, I'm uh, selling um, meat meat pockets. Mm, it sounds suspiciously like pocket meat. No, it's very different. It's totally different uh, product. No, it's not. You got that from me. I, no, well, look, I just, uh, it, it's me. Listen to me. You are not a pocket meat seller. I am the one who knocks. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on the Danger Club podcast. Stop and tell us what you want. Neil. Is this right? I don't know, man. I am loving it. (laughs) (laughs) I'm glad you are. Choose. We gotta pick who's gonna be executed. You. So be it. Natural 20. (gasps) And you kill the skeleton. Thank you all so much for the help that you've given me. I have to run. <laughs> You're all level three. The adventure continues now. Kill the skelly bulb, they dig the thought it was gonna kill us. But they didn't, Zola was there and Carrigal killed it with a cutlass. Fulton said, You, 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 you will die. Hello! <laughs> Hello, everyone! Welcome to a miraculous episode 41 of the Danger Club podcast we survived (laughs) we're still going can we just take a moment to big up rachel henley for coming in for the last four weeks man that was brilliant we've had people asking for ages when are you going to have um guests on when you're going to add some extra people to the show just to change it up a little bit Uh, and we thought let's have a go at it let's uh let's get rachel in she is one of the funniest people we know um let's get her in and uh see how it goes and i think that was a roaring success it was amazing she was so good she was like from the off quite good with the with the comebacks as well to everybody else, which is yeah. really nice. Yeah, yeah. And it was very refreshing, uh, you know, just to have another voice in here, yeah, um, other than each other to bounce off. You know? Now it's just us again. Isn't it, eh? No, oh, it's just us. No. Six in a row. But we leveled up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Level, 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 up. Level, level up. So we've got some uh, exciting new things. You've lost Zola and her excellent um, friendship, but she'll be back. She'll be back. I reckon yeah. Zola will come back somewhere down the road. Um, but what you have gained is some new abilities. So uh, does anyone have anything new and exciting that they want to share with the class? Yes. I what do. have you got, Caragor? Caragor's got a sneak attack now. Yes. Ooh. I see you. Ooh. Very I see you. nice. Um, Shania finally has some proper healing. Um, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get some heals, yo. Excellent um, from Shania. So look forward to not dying more. Amazing. Huzzah. And your um, healing magic is nice because healing magic scales slightly better than potions do. Um, so it is really really good, and it gets it gets better as it goes up. And your cure lights will be better now as well because you're at a slightly higher level. Anyone else? I have gained cleave. Which is a good thing to have. Means I can cleave through people into the next adjacent enemy. And I also have improved my attack bonus and damage, which is very likely to help, hopefully, when I'm rolling fives and fours (laughs) and threes. And oh, yeah, also uh, off air, I rolled my hit points, which you roll a d10, um, and then you add your uh, a couple of other bonuses. I rolled a natural one on mine, Ooh. so Dan said, "Oh, you can re-roll that as a, uh, but you have to take the second result." And what did I roll on my second go? Whoa. Natural wow. one, another natural <laughs> one. So I got two hit points in uh, my next level, which was great. It was. We've got to the point now where, like, even as quite skeptical people, we're now suspicious of Ross because we think he might be cursed. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. I bet you I am. The, the dice in your dice tray are a better monster for me than anything <laughs> I have ever thrown <laughs> Ross, I noticed you kept talking about your bonus you got there, but I can't see your cleave from where I'm sat. <coughs> <laughs> Do 
Did you say cleave? Yeah. <laughs> Cleavage. Yeah. That's what, that's what I was doing there. I like it. It's, it's, Can we get Rachel back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, mate. Yeah, I was just about to. Uh, I'll be, I've, been, I've been waiting to level you guys up for several weeks, but there was just never a point where you'd rested and where I thought it was the right time to uh, try to only level up when you rest. It is, yeah. So we end up having to do it mid episode. That's very welcome. I'm glad we had that sit down. And yeah. my, really I'm glad, glad we had that sit down. down. I mean, uh, you know, from Velda's point of view, Velda has also leveled, of course. And apart from a mighty three hit points, so now I am no longer under ten hit points. Whoa. I have the hefty twelve to play with. Um, Amazing. But I have, I have also gained access to level two spells. Ooh. Ooh. And I have more of them to throw around. So, uh, so get ready for some. Uh, Do you have gusty wind yet? It's gusty oh. wind. I've oh. still got my windy escape. So <laughs> windy Always escape. have a windy escape. What about trouser cough? Have you got trouser cough yet? <laughs> Air biscuits, mate. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Whistle pants. <laughs> <laughs> all some good spells. Dusty release. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Sounds like the lineup of the Grand National. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, so you've successfully completed a mission. Um, you helped Zola complete her mission and retrieve her family's ring. Uh, she has thanked you by running away and leaving you all. Um, how is she getting out of the dungeon? She seems to have her own way out. I thought when you said she vanished, I thought she put on the ring and like Lord of the Rings style just vanished. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, what is in your pocket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> She likes half of you half as much as she should do. Um, no, she um, uh, no, she disappeared off back down the, um, the way you'd come uh, and vanished off into the dark. Uh, so you have lost track of her, leaving you alone back in this corridor, um, which uh, unfortunately does appear to lead to another seal. Um, There's got to be another way to get through some of this stuff what just, are we going to do are we going to go through it or are we going to because we're go barely back? into it and we've already just, right, there's got to be some other way just the listeners there's every, every no time. other way sorry I was... there's no other way all that you can do is break seals just for the listeners every time Dan said seals he means the animal they're, there's, they're by the door <laughs> they're very patient <laughs> Um, I thought you, you meant the singer. I thought yeah, every I mean, seal is. There's a chime. When you hit the chime, he opens the door for you. <laughs> there is a door I can open with the chime on the rose. Ooh, here you go. Uh, that was all right. very nice. Okay, yeah. Nice Beautiful. Um, thanks, babes. So you can, um, yeah, you've got the option. You you can try and open this door. You can go back to the north, um, use the seal on that door. Um, to the north. But that is going to be right. down to, that'll be down to your final use um, by that point. Uh, or you have got the option uh, of going another way. You could go all the way, having having been through all that to defeat this skeleton, you could go all the way back the way you came. Yeah. Um, back past the embalming rooms uh, to where there was a to where you met Zola to where there was another passageway that you hadn't oh, explored I I think uh, or you've got two doors down the bottom which don't appear to have seals on it uh, go we, east and west we spider climbed up to get away from those doors didn't we so we'd have to have, do some kind of climbing thing to get down to those uh, you're uh, uh, well, f- yeah broken. your spider climb you've just got, got enough um, time left because it's Ooh. only been a couple of minutes since uh, you, the, f- the zombie fight lasted only a few seconds okay so if you want to explore this room thoroughly then uh, you might um, then you might run out of time uh, but otherwise you've got five minutes total on it so you've got time to quickly get back down there if you want to uh, and it's only it's only um, uh, it's only 30 feet down to oh, get so to we the could ledge. use a rope so away. you could use a rope as well yeah there are other ways down there what do you want to do danger club and as a sp- Another communal spider climb all together, no, friends, don't, fun. Don't, don't burn another spell. It was fun. We really well, no, fun. I mean, no, just because I've got some left on this one. Oh, that's what you mean. Then, yeah, yeah. yeah you were saying one. Um, wait, do, that, do I, I try putting my fingertips on, on Velda's shoulders? Do I stick to him? Uh, a little bit. Huh? <laughs> uh, M does the same. <laughs> what are you doing? You stick a little bit to Velda as well. Touching me. Caragor. Stop it. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Look at him. I put my spider climb fingers on his ass. Oh, <laughs> oh. You're all this is nice, Velda. Yeah. Gently no, move Velda around. This is, uh, this is uncalled for. Ooh. It's right. Spider Go on then, let's go climb down that thing and yeah, go to the doors. Let's go. All right, spider shines. climb. Spider climb. <laughs> Do whatever spider climb does. Which means you can climb. go up thirty feet. 
as long as you stick to the wall with your feet. Watch out. Hey. It's gonna run out. <laughs> <laughs> we do this as we're climbing down the wall. <laughs> you clamber down the wall back into the uh, uh, back into the room with the uh, with all of the statues around it, the eight statues, um, and the uh, staircase going down to the uh, the sea, the phasmatic um, symbol, and the uh, the two doors, uh, the door going east and the door going west. These ones have not got These the seals on. These ones do not have no. the seal on. I check them both for traps. Okay. My perception is now six, by the way, Dan. Okay. Level up. Good to know. You find no evidence of traps on them. However, the Fine. one to the west is locked. Mm. 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 We just we locked, just had huh? the one character that could unlock things. <laughs> 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 just left, and she didn't have to unlock anything, and now she's like... Oh. You can just hear some Kate Bush lyric, Rothering Heights <laughs> just disappearing <laughs> off. Yeah. I, I mean, I can have a go at unlocking it. However, I've not got any proper tools. However, no, I, am, I don't I am, think anyone has it. I am knowledgeable in it, so I can have a go. But I can just run at it. Oh, well, you don't want to make too much noise, do we? We don't and, want to. And also, Velda hasn't checked either one for magical things either. Can oh, I make a little perception no, to see I, if I can hear anything I mean, on the I other did, side yeah. of the door? Go for it. I did uh, check the room before. I could check the doors. It's uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. You don't hear anything through that door. I can't hear anything through that door. Go on, Velda, have a little scan. I'd like to check both doors for magic, please. No magical auras on either door. Okay. Okie doke. Nope, um, there's no magic. I'm going to try and unlock this door, just because I presume the one that's locked will be the most useful to us. Yeah, I All think right. this is correct. Getting my, like, dagger out and okay. my pronounced orcish fingernail. Actually, do you know what? He's half human. He hasn't got pronounced orcish fingernails. His dagger. Um, Go ahead and make a uh, disabled device check. Cracking. I was fairly confident about that anyway because I've got so many ranks in it, but I rolled a natural 20. Okay. And it's also a plus eight. Plus eight. All right. You work <laughs> on lock for a few minutes. It is a it is a well-built, complicated lock, but it is no match for your skill. And after a while, suddenly the dagger clicks and you feel the lock give way on the western door. Oh, well done. I see you, door. All right. Um, <clears throat> Cara door. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Good. Hey. Yeah, that was great. Thanks. Um, you're my favorite. I open the door. All right, wow. you push the door open, uh, and you see that there is a staircase, uh, a staircase leading up um, and off into the darkness. And at the top of the staircase, you can see a pile of something lying on the floor. Oh dear! Mm. Also, Shania, do you do? Did you not hear what Karaga said? What? Bus? Bus? He said, "Well, he was saying that M's his favourite." I, I reply and say, "Karaga, you're mine." And then look back at Fulton and like pull a face and shake my head a little bit. Again. <laughs> 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 but not so Caragor can hear it. <laughs> I, uh, I do try and do the same to uh, Shania, wink at her, but I realise the head that I've turned, I wink through my eye patch, so she's got no idea what. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna just have a quick perfunctory look up these stairs, see if I can see any bloody dark mantles hanging on the thing, and see if from where I am, without particularly moving, I can, can I see what that uh, pile of stuff is. Can I detect okay. magic at the pile of stuff? Yes, you can. You uh, you approach. Um, go to make a perception check to search. You're more like uh, the Velda, you get up. Uh, you wander part way up the stairs and start detecting magic. You do not detect any magic. Mm-hmm. We're the cautious club at the moment, aren't we? We're not the danger club. We're the take it easy club. We're the we learn from past adventures and we're going very fucking slowly club. Um, my uh, that's a twenty one perception. A twenty one perception. Uh, you realise that they are um, you realise that they are bodies lying at the top of the thing. Uh, they are corpses uh, lying in a heap. Um, and that uh, some, several of them are in bits, several of them are sort of dismembered, and they're just lying there at the top of this staircase. Uh, you also manage to, uh, looking around, you see that um, the staircase, this is sort of a small landing, and then the staircase carries on going up on the other side of the bodies, um, and you work out, uh, you manage to notice just about uh, with your dark vision that there is actually a shaft above this landing that goes up into uh. the don't snigger uh, <laughs> that goes up into the ceiling um, possibly where these bodies have been dropped from it's a shit a shaft a what you a shit damn right no, it's more like. Do a you think this, these are these are um, undead that have been uh, that are no longer useful? Hey, they probably just like a bin. Yeah. Or maybe the level above us has a pit trap. Uh, or that, yeah. Um, Is the level above where we just were? Maybe. 
No, we've been up, no. not down. Oh, no, we have been down. So we've been up, up, and then we've come back down. It was that very verb. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And then know. we get up again. We go no, down. To get back down. Never but I get up you down. again. Have you got your humble Wumba right? Never even let me down. Yeah, I've got my humble Wumba. <laughs> <laughs> Hunger Munga. It's what? Hunger Munga? Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to check the stairs for traps and then... <laughs> <laughs> the stairs for traps, <laughs> and then I'm going to proceed cautiously up them. Okay, you find no evidence of traps. I've, just, I've requested that role so many times, and Dan has gave the same response every time. I just know, I know the one time I f- sort of forget to do it. <laughs> um, Fulton, do you want to go first? It's not, it's not traps. I I'll go right behind you. I'm going to spear out. All right. Let's go up the stairs. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Caragol goes. What do you do, Stop it. I can't help it. It's so catchy. I know, I know. I know. I want to do it too. You think I don't want to do it too? Yeah, I know you do. Just do it. Just give in to it. No, I can't. We can be quiet. We should all do it. Perception checks. From everyone. Okay. Still rolling though, that's good. <laughs> Don't change a thing. Stop it. 21. <laughs> right. 13 for Fulton. 24 for M. Those you hear over 20. James? So, no, no, I didn't say. <laughs> I, I rolled a two with the perception of two gives me four. So uh, I think that's everyone except Fulton and uh, and Velda. No. Um, the two of you wander up quite happily towards. Ooh, it's a big pile of bodies. Uh, the rest of you kind of stop as you realise the bodies move slightly, and you see something. Uh, the, the, there's something moving around them. Um, at which point, um, at which point, three crawling green hands emerge from the pile of bodies. Uh, and launch himself. One of them just al- hands outstretched, launches itself straight at Fulton's crotch. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to roll for initiative. Oh, oh. oh. good, good. Still, oh, still God. rolling low. Yeah. Yep. I got a natural oh, one. That's another two for me. That's two twos in a row. Also got uh, a natural one. Oh, that's a shame, mate. That's two a shame. twos, eh? Yeah. But that's natural really... twenty for the hands. Oh, good. Uh oh. <laughs> Did uh, can't believe. Did anyone get over 20? <coughs> oh dear, 20, 20 to 19? Uh, well, okay, well, let's put the hand, let's go put the hands in. Because they got, they got a 20. Um, anyone get uh, 15 to uh, fifteen to uh, 10? Yeah. What we got? 12. 12 for M. Oh man. My then, initiative didn't go up, did it? No. Leveling up. That's your deck stars. 10 to 5? Oh, oh, I got oh, six. Sorry, I got five. Okay, six. So oh man, it's a four for Velda. <laughs> four for Velda, <laughs> and it's a three for Caracol. Oh, oh, oh look at that. well done, team. I'm so lucky that I've got an uh, improved initiative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even with a natural one, I still got six. So fuck you. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I'm pardon. I got five, but it's going to be the same. Me, 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 me. All right. Me, 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 me. So, first of all, <laughs> uh, that's going to be a miss on Fulton. For the first one, it jumps up and uh, grabs for you, but unfortunately... You're, Where does you're, it grab me, Dan? Uh, on your crotch, but your crotch is arm. Your armoured codpiece protects you as the hand <laughs> just grips. You got a codpiece? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe you've got one now. Schrodinger's codpiece. Yeah. S- Spears Morgan had some uh, self-esteem issues, so he made sure he had a, a big codpiece. Although piece. I realised, as I, I put the half plate on, I took it off after a while because I realised that it wasn't as good as my banded mail. Cool. So I put my banded mail back on. So, so that is a... Uh, cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just that doing it one for the miss artist. against MZ uh, as you kick one of the way. However, the other one uh, comes roaring in with a 24, which I think will be a hit against MZ's flat-footed. I can't be caught flat-footed anymore. Oh, okay, so there you go. Ooh. But it's against your regular AC. <clears throat> yeah, all right. That does still hit you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my regular AC is 15. All right. Uh, that does uh, two points of damage. Yeah. Um, as it jumps up um, and uh, punches you in the face <laughs> um, and it attempts to grapple you 
natural 20. What? <laughs> uh, it then latches around M's throat and starts choking M. Jesus. Um, so the uh, two of them have missed. One of them has jumped up, hit M in the face, and then just started strangling him. <laughs> It's like, it's like, uh, I don't know, what's that old school program? Adam's Family. Adam's Family, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, that's the, like, the thing, but... It's like the Three Stooges, isn't it? It's just like, a <laughs> oh, yeah. like slap you around the face yeah, yeah. and then... <laughs> oh, so much of this adventure is like the Three Stooges. <laughs> yeah. Uh, em, it's your go. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm going to pull uh, a little dagger out of my belt. Yep. And just stab it. All right, go yeah. ahead and make an attack roll. Oh, I haven't got any stats for a dagger. Uh, so Amazing. it'll be uh, your base attack bonus plus your strength mod. So probably the same as the old broadsword. <laughs> broadsword. The, the old new broadsword. All right, okay. Uh, that's a 23. 23 will hit. Yeah. Roll your damage. Damage is a... D3. 1d4 plus Ooh. your strength mod. D4, eh? Yeah, daggers ain't got that much strength. Yeah, I guess so. Which is weird because you are attacking just a hand. So, I <laughs> um seven seven points seven points of damage to not kill the creature. Fucking hell! <laughs> you stab the creature in the uh, in a couple of times uh, while it's here, but it continues strangling you. Uh, you are now effectively holding your breath. Um, so you've got uh, twice your uh, constitution score uh, in rounds before you start suffocating, uh, like you did back in the uh, back in the haunted boat. Twice my constitution score. Yeah, you've score. got a while. Oh, I've got a while. You, yeah, like you got 26. a while. You can hold your breath for a long time, uh, but yeah, it is it is gradually trying to choke you to death. Um, good old grippy hand, Fulton. Uh, I'm gonna hit the one that's right in front of me. All right. Hey ya! Oh, Fulton, will he roll over to he doesn't know? Uh, seven plus seven is... Fourteen. Fourteen. Hits. Yay! My luck's changing now, oh, boys! No. Oh, hey no, I I oh, max Fucking damage! Nice! Uh, <laughs> no uh, <laughs> 17 damage. Hands, that's what you need to be fighting. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, you slice all the fingers off one of them um, and it collapses on the floor. D uh, can you cleave? Um, yeah. Because you can cleave into the next the one. Next yeah! One. Go ahead and make Damn. another attack. Yeah! Roll. Oh, it's good. <laughs> uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Hits, roll your damage. He's turning around. Uh, that is 10. Uh, you uh, you cleave through the first one into the next one, send it flying against the wall. It hits the wall, flips you the bird, and then just falls <laughs> onto the ground uh, and stops moving. You have killed both of your handy assailants. Oh, Yay! fuck, boys! <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, a while back. I was looking forward through the stats, right, and I saw that cleave would possibly come up for Fulton, and I was really worried about the day when that came because then I knew Fulton would become the more effective melee damage output of the game. <laughs> and the day has come, Dangerlings. The day has come. Um, oh, uh, Shania, do you want to do anything to uh, to help MZ? Can M just kind of look at Fulton <laughs> beforehand and kind of, even though he's choking, just laugh and go, <laughs> like give him like a thumbs up. Yeah, MZ, MZ <laughs> still got, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got a hand like, around his throat. Like push the thumb um. up <laughs> around his throat to kind of go, nice one, Fulton. <laughs> I'm glad your luck's turning around. <sighs> Uh, well, let's see. Let's see um, if there's anything that's even remotely useful that I could possibly do. I mean, you could um, try and slice the hand from his throat with your scythe. I mean... <laughs> I mean, it sounds dangerous. I mean, he wasn't even hiding that. Dan wasn't even hiding his wicked, malicious grin as he said that. He's not even bothering to try and hide it anymore. MC it would be pretty decapitates. metal. <laughs> I mean, can I just can I can I try and just grapple, like get the hand? Yeah, off? okay. Go ahead, make a combat maneuver check that. against the okay. hand. Um, uh, mm, 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 mm. Okay, um, which is. Combat maneuver. So you're adding so a CMB. CMB. Yeah. You're adding a CMB to CMB. This. Okay, right, right, right. D20 okay, plus right. CMB. 
Uh, oh, hey, look at that. It's 21. All right, you grab a hold of the hand and pull it from MZ's um, neck. Uh, it the hangs there in your hand, wriggling and um, grabbing at you with its fingers. Oh, uh, it's a bit handsy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Can I just go, give the man a hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Velda, do you want to do anything? Uh, I do. I'd it's like this to deadly opponent. Yeah, um, so it's, it's around his throat, is it? No, uh, no I've, I've now, taken it. It's now it's in, in my hand. Take it, it's end in the game. Hand. End of the game, James, come on. Yeah, end of the game. Uh, right, I'd like to cast... Uh, uh, excuse me, Disrupt Undead. Disrupt it. undead. All right. You cool. use, how many times can you use that spell? It's a cantrip. Can oh, wicked. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell uh, us what uh, disrupt undead. Does. Disrupt undead does one d six damage to one undead. Very nice. Did you get? He saved? didn't think to use uh, that on the skeleton. Didn't have it before. Didn't didn't have, oh, really? Is that new? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's new. new. Yeah. Okay. Imagine. Yeah. I was like, sorry, <laughs> listen, yeah, I know. I, know. <laughs> yeah, right. I did yeah. not have anything. I could have made some <laughs> okay. lights or a little spectral voice. This is great. It does not say that it has a. All right. Go ahead. Roll your damage. The spell description, just to give it there, direct a ray of positive energy. You must make a ranged touch attack to hit, right. and if the ray hits an undead creature, it deals 1d6 points of damage cool. to it. Cool, ranged touch attack then. I hold it up for you. Do 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 do. It's grappled, so it's AC oh, it's a- reduced. The what? third two in a row. Wow. Ooh. Yes, surely that's my so curse funny. has been lifted and no. given to James. I give it straight back. <laughs> <laughs> James, is that a cantrip? It is a cantrip. Because you missed, does that make it a cantrip? Oh! Didn't you make that joke in episode already, two? Yeah, 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 yeah. Episode yeah. like one or something. But do you know what? It's been about 30, 40. I'm gonna People have gone. You know. um, yeah. Velda kind of rolls his eyes at the trivial nature of this situation, uh, casts a spell, uh, and then just directs a beam of energy into Shania's face, uh, which I mean, does nothing because you're not uh, undead. Hey, it just sort of it's positive energy. So <laughs> you're feeling pretty good it about makes, yourself. Makes, makes me feel great. It's pretty good good about yourself <laughs> but it, it does nothing to the hand no, uh, oh, no I missed the hand <laughs> to the side talk to uh, the hand talk Caragor the hand. somehow you've ended up getting a go in this very short combat do, 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 do. oh 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 um, uh, yeah sorry um, is the hand on the floor now are you still no it's still in my hands there's a hand in my hand put an oh, arrow through it alright <laughs> what's the theme tune to William Tell <laughs> <laughs> I can I see you hand <laughs> I see you. I, lo- yeah. I knock an arrow. All right. And I, I hold the hand over that. my head. <laughs> why, is, why can't I remember the theme tune when it was William Tell? Very famous. However. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, twang. Oh. Uh, that's a total with a study target of 21. 21. It hits. It goes through the hand. You're holding up Roy damage. <laughs> It's a nine damage. Nine damage. You put a, uh, without touching Shania, you put an arrow through the palm of the hand, um, and Shania, you throw it down onto the floor, and it just lies oh. there. Sounds was fair, good. Thought I'd palm the kill off you there, mate. <laughs> Give yeah. the man a hand. That's hey. already been done. Oh, what? Yeah. It's already yeah, been done. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, someone hasn't been listening. Seconds. Are you even here, Velda? <laughs> Stop looking for your spell book. Well, yeah. I was just really interested in this new spells in here. Yeah. I've never read before. <laughs> I, I go and uh, uh, retrieve my arrow out okay. of that hand. Remove the arrow from the hand. Um, and you're left with the pile of bodies and the staircase going up on the shaft above. I check Can those we, bodies. Yeah, check those bodies. Yeah. Them. Perception to check the bodies. Yeah. I've rolled so many sevens. 25. 25. Okay. You uh, this M, you find uh, on one of the uh, on one of the severed hands, mm-hmm. um, you find that it's wearing a uh, you find that it's wearing a gold ring with an emerald set into it. Ooh. It looks pretty pretty pricey. Okay, I take that ring. Okay. It is not magical, um, Velda. You can detect, but it looks like it might be valuable. Ramsey. Son of Bemsey. <laughs> I now have a ring. <laughs> Put it on. All right. <laughs> and disappears. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it does not. <coughs> no, I don't put it on. It's just, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Yeah. Right. All right. M's so cursed for the rest of his life. At the top of this, so there's no other way. No, no, no. We're we're on. Uh, we're there's more stairs ahead of us. So there's more stairs landing. going cool. up ahead of you, um, and there's a, a sort of shaft going up above you. <laughs> carry on up the <laughs> stairs. Okay. You head. You carry on <laughs> up <laughs> the stairs. Stairs. The carry on up the stairs. Carry on up the stairs. Oh no no! Shh, I shouldn't have started that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that's all right. Let's go. Up the stairs. 
Let's go. Starting Let, uh, Kenneth uh, Williams is standing up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Barbara wins. <Yeah. laughs> oh, he leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. Yeah. You carry on up <laughs> the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so title, so title, so title, so title. Nice one, Dan. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, which you find uh, turns into a, a, a T junction. Um, so you, uh, there are, um, you find there are now two flights of stairs that branch off. So you can, it's a flight of stairs going up to the north and a flight of stairs going down to the south. How's the map going? I was just about to ask. I was just about to ask. About time to check the map, I think, isn't it, Velda? <laughs> yes. Well, uh, there what we are. What the fuck is that? You, what you, the f- what? That's <laughs> shit. You stopped drawing Your yesterday. Shit. You know, you, uh, <coughs> you're doing different room, levels. From the big room, do we go south or north? <laughs> <laughs> what, from the big room, the two doors that we've just gone through, was that south or north? Out of character, east and west. Would this be it something was vest. It was vest. Out of character, west. would this be something that Velda would be quite good at and thus um, we would no. have a map? Not necessarily. <laughs> oh, so in game, we do have to actually make yeah, a map. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm making you make this actual I mean, map. I mean, um, the thing is, if well, there is, a Dru- is a wizard, he's not a cartographer. <laughs> like, map right drawing is a it's skill, a skill that man, he does yeah. not have. There is he's a druid drawn. cantrip, um, which Shania could prepare, called No Direction, uh, which where you can at any point just uh, cast the spell and know which way is north. Um, so you can keep on, uh, right, which could, right. might help with that. that uh, I, but it, we don't necessarily have that right now. Help us that much. Uh, uh, I don't remember which so way we went. We went it was, this was west. We went through the west door, and now we are going up some stairs. No, uh, Veld is asking if we went north or south on the last junction before then, which I think we went south. Because we went south, and there was the room with all the bodies. It's probably uh, quite important not to go through that door. No, that's uh, oh, not. That's, 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 it's no, very we went, important. No, that we know no, it. Velda, that's, that's not. That's like two two decisions ago. <laughs> I know. No, Velda, we went that's down not. back into the room, and then oh. which door did we use? Well, what was it? Actually, just out of character, were the two doors underneath the bridge? Uh, yes, they were. They were, they were so not not the same way. They were opposite. So the the bridge doors were north and south, and then the uh, the doors on the ground were east and west. So we have we've gone to a different level. Oh god! Yeah, we're on a different level. Yeah, we know. I mean, that. this is quite important because like getting out of here as a, as a team like is gonna <laughs> bless you, Dan. Uh, uh, and again, son, <laughs> is <laughs> uh, coming out of here as a team. We need to know how to get back to where the exit is, the entrance that we. Hey, I've got an somewhere. idea. It's all right. Look, uh, look, Fulton, Fulton takes off his shoe oh. and pulls oh, out some no. shoe cheese. No, you're going to crumble the shoe cheese, and then but we hey. need to have done that from the start, mate. No, oh. look, no, look, we're fine. Look, oh yeah, shit. Man. This is where, this, this goes from this door up this this way. I mean, actually, no. Because we could probably get out from if we had to retrace our step. No, it doesn't matter because we still need a charm to open the door, wouldn't we? Hey, I mean you can if you want. Actually, Joe, you know I'm, I'm pro the, cr- the trail of shoe cheese. Have you got right. enough? How much shoe cheese have you got? Oh, I've got <laughs> plenty, boy. No, I've got plenty. Like, you know what? I think it's about time that Dan quantified just how much. Because you've, <laughs> you've been giving this to everybody. Like, how much exactly shoe cheese and pocket meat do you actually have? A pound. You can have a bit <laughs> in that shoe. In uh, both shoes. He's got no feet. It's, got, it's just cheese. <laughs> yeah. He walks on stump. If, falls you, if, falls you, falls if you think of a pound bag of sugar, like that is a pound of cheese in either one of your shoes. His, hey, your shoes. Hey, his Fulton, feet Fulton, have just Fulton. been eaten away by the shoe cheese. That's enormous <laughs> shoes. Fulton. Hey. Give me a bit of shoe cheese. Uh, oh, hey, a, no, it's hey, disgusting. I'd peel a bit off and give it to him. Flick it in my mouth. Peel it. Oh, you're not even drunk. <laughs> Him. You gotta taste him, man. It's great. It's really good. He's on make, to something. Make here. a persuasion wrong. <laughs> I don't need to persuade, but okay. <laughs> Go on, because Carrigo's got a very low will save when it comes to eating <laughs> local goods. So uh, that is a. Where is persuasion? Oh, sorry, I might have said the wrong thing. Uh, so it's good. It's why, it's why Isn't I don't it? DM. Um, diplo- No, it's not diplomacy. I'm not trying to. Yeah, you're persuading me. Yeah, but it's not. There's no persuade. It's diplomacy. I'm glad we're doing this. Diplomacy. <laughs> D, 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 diplomacy. D, diplomacy. All right. Um, it is... Seven. After all that. Seven. You've got a minus to it. <laughs> yeah, i got a minus one. <laughs> no, I'm all right. Thanks. Thanks anyway. You're good. Yeah. So sure, look, you don't know what now, you're missing. So look, yeah, with I these do. stairs, we can either go north <laughs> or we can go <laughs> south. Yeah, well, I think uh, a south is the way in, right? To south, go deeper. South is the same way that we went, uh, that we found the door. We when we were upstairs, time. yeah. Mm. So we could go south. 
So that was the way we wanted to go anyway, but then we stopped because of the door. So let's go south. Let's go south. Let's turn south. To south it is. Um, ahead. Let's go. Follow me. Oh, okay, right. behind Mini jog. So Fulton's going first. Is it enough for two, uh, you know, two abreast, if you like? Uh, well, then M and Fulton go in front. That way I can still spear from behind. All right, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> and, and Fulton go first. Uh, Caragor and Shania behind and Velder at the back, or...? Yeah, you uh, can go at the back. No, I think I'll go in the middle. Velda okay. should go in the middle. Yeah, yes. yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm squishy. All right, then. So you start, you make your way up the stairs to the south uh, and start getting up there. Um, as you uh, as you get top, uh, make, uh, let's get perception checks from everyone except M. Because as you get to the top of the stairs, the corridor stretches away into the darkness ahead of you. And M, it stretches away beyond the distance that you can see by the light of the torch. No light, <laughs> I'm helping you here. Uh, 15 for Velda. A 15 for Velda. 16 for Fulton. 16 for Fulton. 9 for Shania. 9 for Shania. 8 for Caragor. 8 for Caragor. What do you see, Fulton? Nothing at all <laughs> for a moment. And then arrows come whistling <gasps> out of the darkness nice. down the passageway towards you all. Uh, we're going to roll for initiative, and uh, whoever this is is getting a surprise round. Oh, All right. Oh, actually, okay. Combat heavy dungeon. Combat heavy dungeon. It's good thing we all reclaimed every single one of our hit points when we slept last. Yep. Right, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. I mean, right. I'm, okay. I'm two down because of the hand. Mm. Oh, that hand. I'm like six hand. down. Right. Uh, who got over twenty? Oh, good. 20 to 15. I got 19 for Velda. 19 for Velda. I got, I got 15. 15 for Kara. Uh, 13 for Shania. 13 for Shania. Uh, da, da, da. Anyone uh, up to your turn? Okay. Um, 8. And for 8 Fulton. for Fulton and M. 5. Oh, no. M. No, yeah. So. A terrible rock. The. Um, uh, so the arrows whistle out of the darkness towards Fulton and M. Fortunately, M, despite not being able to see them, cannot be caught flat-footed. Um, Fulton, you are flat-footed, but I don't think it makes it much. Oh, you lose one point of dex. You lose one point of <coughs> moving flat-footed, I think, don't you? Mm-hmm. you don't get your dex bonus. Uh, oh, no, I, I, I've still got my band of mail, so I do get my dex bonus. Uh, yeah, but not when you're flat-footed. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, lose yeah. That. So I'm um, 18. 18. Okay, so... Still going to be pretty hard for them. Uh, there's going to be a miss on Fulton, and another miss on Fulton, and then against MZ, that's going to be a miss on MZ, and a natural one, which is not a fumble, but it is a miss. So the four arrows come flying out of the darkness. Uh, at the last second, the two of you see them and, and just duck, and they just clang around the uh, the walls behind you. Um, I peering now into the dark, right at the very edge uh, of your dark vision, uh, Fulton. So, uh, some sixty feet, uh, sixty feet away, mm-hmm. um, you can see four skeletons um, with bows. Um, crouch, two of them uh, crouched, and then two standing behind them. Um, and we are going to go for Velda. What are you going to do? Right. Um, Can I make a tactical recommendation? No, but he's got to cast a spell. So, um, how how wide is the passage? Uh, It is ten feet across, so enough for two people to stand side by side. Right. Uh, What? And they're sort of two on one side, two on the other, yes? Yes, they are. Very good. And they're sixty feet away? They are sixty feet from you, yes. I'm going to cast... Gusting sphere. Gusting sphere. Right, first I knew you had a level gust two spell. spell. Uh, so this is this is wind. a sylph um, specific level two wind. spell, and it summons a five foot by five foot gusting sphere of air that makes it quite hard to shoot arrows through, and will uh, do the damage when it reaches. So I cast it, and then it can move thirty feet per turn. So I'm going to shoot okay. it down the corridor, thirty feet on one side. All right. Uh, they will take a minus four penalty to shooting through that gusting sphere. Very on one nice. Side. That's going to make it very hard for them to hit you. Yes, and, um, uh, and I'm going to sort of, I, well, just stab where I am. So uh, you hear uh, those of you at the front, uh, M and Fulton. You hear uh, Velda whisper some magical words, and then a, a great gust of wind pushes between the two of you and starts rolling down the corridor, just that wasn't kicking me. Up clouds of dust. 
um, <laughs> as it goes on. Is that also going to give us a minus to hit with ranged weapons to them? Uh, yes, but I presume you want to close in for combat because they're yeah, skeletons. Based, yeah, I was just thinking because the 60 feet away uh, yeah, means we're going to need two uh, movement if, goes to get if there. You, so. If you try and shoot through it, yes, you'll also get a minus four penalty. Okay. But only on one side. Cara Bonara. It's mm-hmm. been a while since we've used that name, mm-hmm. but it's your go. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, so we're two abreast, aren't we, in this You corner? are, and you're in the second rank at the moment. Okay. Um, you can move through squares without a penalty. Okay, I might do that if that's okay with the two front lines, two other front lines. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm going to um, say, fucking charge them, lads. And I move forward to my full movement, which is 30 feet. 30 and feet. At the end of that, I, fuck it, why not? I'll take a shot with my bow. Okay, you move up next to the gusty sphere, mm-hmm. uh, the next two, so you won't be firing through it. Uh, oh, okay, you cool. can go ahead, because you, can, you, you move side. at the same speed that it does, uh, so basically you can stay next to it. Right. Uh, if you want, you can stand behind it, and you'll get the you defense from it, but, you, but you, they will also get the, uh, the cover against you. Do you know what? For the numbers there... Ah, no, but if I stand behind it, that means one of you guys have to miss out on the cover, doesn't it? Uh, fuck it, yeah. I stand behind it because I, there's four okay. arrows. There's five arrows, actually, isn't there? So a number's worth. Go for it. Got it. All right, take your shot. Stand behind so the Minus speed. four on top of... Uh, minus four. So I study one of them. Okay. Oh, you can't. You've moved. Fair enough. So, uh, take the four away from that, which is ten. And I add my five, which is fifteen. And there's no other bonuses, so it's fifteen. Fifteen, miss. Ouch. You fire, but it goes through the... But the <sighs> wind flows it off, and it, uh, it bounces off one of the walls. All right. I presume it's going to be worth it in the long run, Velda. Shania, you're at the back. What do you want to do? You were filling yeah, at the back. Um, well, I was thinking maybe yeah. I will... Um, well, I'm, I'm going to cast Mad Monkeys. Mad Monkeys! <laughs> what? <laughs> tell us about Mad Monkeys. Okay, I'm gonna tell you about Mad Monkeys. You summon a swarm of screeching, mischievous monkeys. The swarm <laughs> understands and obeys your commands and has the statistics of a monkey swarm. Uh, creatures failing saving throws against the Mad Monkeys. Um, uh, mad, the Mad Monkeys distraction attack are deafened for one minute as well as nauseated. Uh, the Monkeys attempt one disarm or steal combat maneuver each turn as a free action against any creature. Um, uh, you, uh, against any creature uh, that begins its turn in the swarm. Um, using your caster level plus your casting ability score bonus. Um, for its CMB. Um, so, recovering an item from the monkeys requires a successful disarm and steal attempt uh, against the CMB plus 10. Um, an object stolen by the monkeys takes swarm damage each round. The swarm is in possession of the object. So, I'm going to try and take their, take their bows away from What's them. What's the range of that spell? Uh, do, do, do. Is that determine uh, how far? 25 from- plus 5 feet uh, every two levels I'm level three so that's like 30 35 feet five okay. feet so you can make them appear just in front of Caragor um, <laughs> I, are you, there's a, a, a puff of smoke in front of you and just uh, just an astonishing number of monkeys just come pouring from an interdimensional rift <laughs> uh, chattering and screeching just just a question uh, a, a, a player question because it's the first time I cast a ranged spell like this yeah uh, the range is 100 feet on the spell that I cast. Does that mean I could cast it 100 feet away? Yeah. Or does it yeah, start you can, with me? No, 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 you can plonk it straight on them. Oh. But, uh, oh. but I, I assumed you wanted to roll it forward to get cover. No, 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 I'd have just dumped it straight on uh. them because it has that, that effect. Oh, well, it's on them. well, we'll know next time. Well, we'll know next now time. Uh, there we go. That was uh, that So was the, uh, the monkeys have a move of 30 feet um, so they can get... Uh, that allows them to engulf the first. They uh, swarm forwards down the corridor. Sweet. Like some running up the walls, some running along the ceiling. <laughs> just Like a, just a storm of monkeys just hammers down the corridor at the uh, take astonished skeletons. Um, and I'm thinking about that song in Aladdin, you know, Prince Ali, yeah. where he says, he's got the monkeys, he's got the monkeys. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, fabulous he... So they uh, they swarm over the first skeleton. Um, oh my god, they do really big damage. They deal two d six points of damage to the skeleton. Okay. Uh, so you can go That's ahead and roll that. Sixes. Sick. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Here we go. Whoop. Hey, eleven. Eleven, and they just tear the first um, uh, skeleton to pieces <laughs> and just start throwing the bones around between each other. Uh, and <laughs> 
I'm already looking that. forward to Colin picking the soundbite for this. <laughs> <laughs> Swarm yeah. of monkeys throwing bones. I mean, I might just loop what drum just did. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking sick. Mad. Absolutely mad. These skeletons have a go. What's Philippe think about all those monkeys? Oh, it's a jelly. It's jelly. <laughs> you get mad he was the one that inspired monkeys. me towards them in the first place. He's yeah. the leader of the monkeys. Oh, the well, king of the king. monkeys, if you will. The moment, they, uh, I mean, they do way more damage than him, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the skeletons, um, The skeletons turn and fire their bows into the, uh, the swarm of monkeys. Hit. Hit. <laughs> Miss. So that's two hits. Dealing nearly maximum damage, uh, but swarm traits mean it does only half damage because they're using bows. So that is five points of damage, which is not nearly enough to kill the monkeys. Uh, so they just turn and just start frantically firing arrows into this swarm, this whirlwind of monkeys that uh, is threatening to consume them, killing m- monkeys fall left and right from the uh, from the arrow shots. One of them. Um, uh, one of the monkeys uh, throwing a skull uh, sees the monkey next to him fall goes to uh, go, nudges him to carry on the other monkey doesn't get back up and he just kind of sits down next to it <laughs> like the Ewok <laughs> 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 Oh, Dan's I'm gonna cry when I watch that. Dan's gonna try and humanise your dead monkeys every time. He gets <laughs> the rest of the campaign, we're gonna suffer for making your monkeys oh, die. Yeah, wait till the spell ends. They just, they just die. They don't, they don't go back to an individual. Oh, literally, they're, they're monkeys born with a life, wither. a life of a few minutes. They just age really quickly. Um, have a whole episode of Planet Earth plays out with dynasties. Um, Oh my goodness. Fulton Battlestone. Things got weird. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to run up towards the skellies. But okay. I don't think Double I can move. Get... Well, yeah. No. Okay, just a single move. All right, you just start trotting up the, uh, the path towards them. Uh, you close the distance from 60 feet to 40 feet. Oh, you wait. And a few... <laughs> minutes I'm gonna come get you <laughs> between you and them there's just Caragor firing arrows <laughs> a storm of wind <laughs> and then just just oh, so many monkeys and so much <laughs> screeching going on at the end of the <laughs> corridor um, oh, level ups MZ so I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna run up with Fulton actually okay. yeah now you move twice as quickly as Fulton so yeah. if you want you because you've got fast movement so you can uh, <laughs> literally just be strolling along next to <laughs> so you can <laughs> You can overtake him if you want. If you want to be able to take a shot, uh, like you can actually outrun the um, you can outrun the the ball of wind if you want. Like you can run through the ball of wind to the wow. other side, and take a oh, shot. Nice, faster than the wind. That would, be, <laughs> that would be cool. You coming out of like a gust, you know, like a whoosh with your sword. Running. I'm just gonna yeah. I'm just gonna run past what's oh, right. going. Watch how it's done. Right? <laughs> and then as I'm running, wait. I'm in front. The wind. I'm in front of the ball of wind, which hasn't moved yet. No, you're. Uh, oh, you're you're behind the ball of no, wind, so yeah, it. you can move around it. Yeah, I guess so, you can yeah, move it. Yeah. Um, and you then can kind of duck through it on your way through. Uh, you can't it. get. Um, you can actually charge, actually. Yeah, you've got yeah. enough movement to do a full charge. I'm going to charge one yeah, of those. Just quicks. as an FYI, if you do charge, I don't think it'll be a problem, but you'll take a minus to AC on your next go. If there's still three of them or four of them standing, you might get full I of mean, arrows. There's only three of them standing what? now. One okay. of them got monkeyed. The, monkeys, oh, right, okay. the monkeys are pretty efficient. You so also be standing in the way of the ball of wind, which is going to move again towards them. Oh, I see. Maybe I'm going to stick to a, about where Caragor is, actually. Yeah, right. I'm thinking about that because of yeah. the wind thing. Okay. Let, let the magic... Yeah. You run up. Thing and let the magic do its thing. You yeah. run up next to the ball of wind. Um, your your hood falls from your head, and your hair sort of blows in the wind in slow yeah. motion as you approach it. Do you want to take a? Uh, do you want to take an arranged attack? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Why not? I'll, you can I'll do that without uh, getting close to it. I'll fire an arrow. That's cool. Great. Are you firing through the wind? No, he's getting next to. He's next to the wind. Cool. Next to the wind. Fulton and M running together just reminds me of that episode of Rick and Morty where they do Officer Baby Legs. <laughs> 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 I've got my regular sized legs. <laughs> uh, oh, it's not a good one. So oh. it. <laughs> oh, you fire it's an like arrow. Six, seven, eight. Yeah. The the monkey mourning his friend takes an arrow <laughs> in the side of the head and goes down. <laughs> There's another monkey stop. Look. <laughs> 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 oh, well, I look so cool. So that's all right. Uh, right, I'm going to uh, 
<laughs> they look up and you're just like L'Orielling. <laughs> I don't care where the arrow goes. I'm just like, I just wanted to look cool. What are you, what are you doing, Velda? Right, I'm going to roll that ball of wind uh, forward ball again. Ball of wind. Do, do. All right, and you can reach the first skeleton with it. Smack straight in this first skeleton. Uh, now, the, it's, well, the, well, the wind stops moving and uh, generates a sharp thrust of wind, which is going to try and bull rush the creature. A windy thrust. A windy <laughs> thrust. Okay. <laughs> does, it get, does it get the monkeys as well? No. No, uh, no, because they're on the other side. So uh, it's okay. an explosion of bones and monkeys. M's there because he's worth it. Like, it's <laughs> mental. Uh, now, it says that uh, the spheres C and B for the bull rush combat maneuvers use your caster level okay. in place of its base attack bonus with a plus two bonus for its strength score of 14. Okay. So, uh, what so I, that is a uh, so you get a plus two, and then you get uh, your cast level is three, so you get plus five to this. Plus five. Okay. Oh, that's not great. Uh, that'd be ten. I guess ten. A uh, total of ten. I'm pretty sure that don't do it. No, it does not. Uh, so it well. blasts one of them, but the uh, skeleton kind of staggers backwards. It's, it's fine. Uh, even if the bull rush is not successful, it still takes 1d6 points of non-lethal bludgeoning damage. Non-lethal damage. Which is... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let the magic do its thing, guys. Let the magic do its thing, guys. I got this. I got this. You clean the dust from the bones of the skeleton. Yeah, yeah one point of damage. <laughs> Bump. Non-lethal. Uh, Caragor. So that, that gusty ball is now gone, right? Nope. One more turn. No, it's still not. Yep. Okay, cool, but it only However, takes up one side of the corridor, you could, right? Yeah, it's basically in the square that the skeleton's in, so you could run up and hit that skeleton with your sword. Cool. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Can I reach any other skeleton further beh- further behind that? Uh, you can. You will have to stand. You have to jump into the monkey swarm to do it, though. Nope. No, 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 no. <laughs> one of the worst ways I can imagine to die. So I'm going to take the one conven- uh, closest to me. I'm going to withdraw my holy cutlass and take a backward slash at him as I run up to him. All right, go ahead. Uh, I see you as well. I'm studying you. Can't study him. You got to move. Oh yeah, thanks, DM. Um, uh, it's uh, thirteen. Thirteen hits. Ah, Cracking. Five. Five. You slash through it with the uh, the get with the scimitar, and the skeleton crashes into bone fragments against the wall. Um, Carol one thing has still never lost a fight to man nor beast nor skeleton. Um, <laughs> the wind kind of billow, blows your uh, blows your cloak. Do you have a cloak? No, just a skirt, mate. Blows just your kilt. skirt around. Just a kilt, yeah. Um, which, uh, <laughs> you Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. The monkeys clamber your legs. Um, oh, so many monkeys. It's Shania's go. Obviously, I send the monkeys in to continue monkeys doing continue. their work. All right. Yeah. What, would you like to do anything as well as the monkeys? Um... Phew. Look astonishing. <laughs> this, is, this is the game where we all look fab. It's the fabulous That's right. club. That's right. This is so so awesome lots of slow mo going yeah. on. I whip a hood back and sort of. Mm. As I like direct the monkeys to right, do the monkeys destruction. envelop the next skeleton. But there's no wind on you, so it's just Philippe going. <laughs> 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 yeah. Philippe is flapping me. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Mm. Oh no! Wait, I should, do I need to do anything? No, just uh, it's just two d six damage. Okay, all right. So six, six this points time. of damage. Six the next skeleton damage. goes down in a swarm of monkeys. Going down in a place of monkeys. <laughs> um, the uh, one of them's now wearing its skull um, on top of it. Its arms and legs are kind of sticking out the side. It's just staggering around, <laughs> skull with a with monkey feet. Oh my god. Like a skull with monkey feet. <laughs> this is horrendous. <laughs> um, there's only one skeleton left. It's Fulton's go. Can I get into range? Uh, no, you need, a, need another yeah. range. I'm <laughs> going to. Another, another yeah, I'm going to run when and then I'm going to do, as a standard action, intimidating prowess. All right. Yeah. Uh, that is 18. Uh, 18 to attempt to uh, intimidate the mindless skeletons. <laughs> yeah. you start, what do you shout to? to gonna, uh, Listen to me, you undead bastard. I'm going to fuck you right to me, bony ass, if you don't drop your weapon now. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so, this is a commitment to Ross's roleplay because Dan already told him it would have no effect. <laughs> yeah, but he fucking told it anyway. 
Yeah. I knew they were in work. I just did it because there's nothing else I can do. In the skeleton's control room, the little graphic with a picture of Fulton kind of moves a tiny bit closer. Like, Commander, Fulton will be in range in the next round. <laughs> uh, but he's not. Let me know when he's there. <laughs> <laughs> you keep shouting, the, the skeleton does not even slightly react to you. Um, Damn it. <laughs> MZ. Mm. Uh, fire off another arrow. All right, go ahead. Wind hits. Um, Make your attack. Oh, it might hit. Who knows? Fifteen. Fifteen. Miss. The wind uh, stops it. Yeah, uh, the, the, wind. The, the sphere is in front of, of the brain skeleton. The wind catches it, blows it to the side, skewers another monkey. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just a lies like of a the puppy. I'm just knocking out these <laughs> these spell monkeys. <laughs> They're not real monkeys, everyone. All right, don't write in and say, "Oh, are you killing oh, monkeys." We're not yep, actually yep. killing monkeys. Uh, Veldo, it's your go. Uh, right. So another thing I've just noticed, which I could probably do. So I'm going to roll the sphere forward onto the remaining uh, right. skeleton and make that sort of bull rush attack. Twelve. Nah. Nah. That's alright. Well, he gets non lethal bludgeoning damage of five. Five points of non lethal damage. Um, and also, because of course, the spell, that's a move action, so I can cast a cantrip. So I'm going to yeah. cast Disrupt Undead. Alright. Uh, oh, no. I'm going to fail on that attack as well. Not been a great round, to be honest. But there Let we the go. magic do its work. Let the magic do its work. <laughs> uh, okay. Wizard smack talk for you there, and that's what did me. <laughs> You uh, you blast a ray of disrupting energy, but you miss and hit one of the monkeys, um, which falls to the ground. Uh, Realises it's not undead, uh, and thinks. Oh, but in the meantime, the monkey that it was in love with runs up, sees it lying on the floor, God. buys some poison from a local apothecary, and downs it. <laughs> <laughs> the other monkey wakes up, sees it, and stabs itself in the heart. Oh. Another so- monkey runs up to both of them and goes. Oh. <laughs> It's that little scene from Romunkio and Juliape there, Dan. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, on the fire. Oh, Very my. well done, Scott. <laughs> oh, my. Dan's going to put the whole text of that script online. So. <laughs> It'll be in the show notes. The entire script of Romeo and Juliet with apes. Um, it's Caragor's go. This, this is fucking mental. Um, am, I in, am I in 30 foot range of any of the rest of the skeletons? It might still be there, perhaps. <laughs> you are, yeah, you're, you're <laughs> right. You can like just because you, you killed one of them. Um, I know, yeah, it was, it was as in like 30 feet range, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, you are within range. Okay, cool. I just choose the next one, go, you next. I st- can I? St- no, I've got to move. I can't study and move. Yeah. Okay, so I just leap it in with my holy cutlass with a strike of. Make sure you're crossing off uses of this holy. Yeah, into this fight. Uh, 17. 17 hits. Cool. It said nine without the holy damage. Nine, and you kill this last skeleton. Hey. Uh, oh. Through its skull, the last oh. skeleton collapses. This is wonderful. Velda, the wind disappears. Oh, I was going to say you could like envelop the monkeys and watch all the monkeys fly <laughs> around. Do you know what? It did cross my mind. Oh, uh, monkey that's, nado. That's harsh <laughs> monkey nado. How, how long have we got the monkeys for? <laughs> So, um, uh, oh, I, I'm not, I, can't, I don't know how much longer. How long are you going to stick around for, guys? <laughs> make, you, <laughs> hey, I, make him do something. Make him do something. Put can on a little show. Out, can you spell okay. out someone's name? <laughs> make the monkeys spell out all our names. <laughs> there we go. Or Danger Club. I, I make them spell out Danger Club. Oh. Huzzah. Wish I could take a photo. I wish I could take a go. selfie. Oh. A what? I don't know. An elfie. <laughs> hey, hey, AM, can you take an elfie or a half elfie? I'll see what I can do. Cheers, mate. It'll look great on the gram. Uh, so these aren't geez. real monkeys. No, what? they're spell monkeys. Oh, cool. I hit one of them on the <laughs> head with my axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, just because you didn't get into that combat with your tiny dwarf legs. <laughs> you cleave a, uh, a monkey. It cleaves in half. Another monkey goes... <laughs> And then the monkeys pour onto Fulton like a tidal wave, oh. flatten him to the floor, and then dissipate into a, into magical dust. Oh, 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 oh. Right. That was weird. <laughs> oh, so cool. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh, it's a windy monkey attack. I like this. This is good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think next time I'll put the ball on them. Uh, I'm a little windy bit monkeys, eh? I've only just learned windy the Windy monkeys. So. The new windy cop monkeys. cop. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, 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 hang on, hang on. I'm just, just saying, I'm just saying, you know, it's another thing. And Fly, my pretty. Well, Fly. you two aren't cop cop anymore, anyway. Yeah, Who said that? Cop yeah, cop what are you talking about? I thought yeah, Shania man. was detective no, and you were cop. No, no but she, we just said goodbye to that. Yeah, she hey, retracted that. Well, you've been pretty angry at each other. Like when well, you met, time to talk. when you met your friend, she was a bit angry. I mean, you were a bit, hey, were a bit rude. Don't psychoanalyze the fuck out of this. Okay, Fulton, Fulton, Fulton. Now is the time. You know what? Exactly. Fulton's exactly right. I'm trying to. Sorry, Em. 
Drunk drunk still strong, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. High five. Fish and I. Drunk drunk's lame. Look, now's not yeah, the time. Lame. Right, let's, let's Just because you don't have anything. Yeah, you don't Velda. have anything, Velda. I do. I do. Velda. And I, and I, and I look at Jim. Velda. Velda. <laughs> Velda. <laughs> Velda. Go on, no. Hey, hey, to be fair, let him finish. Go on. You said you've got gin. What what, what have you got with gin? A monkey runs up next to Velda and just goes, (laughs) 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 Yeah, go on, see about what you're going to say about gin. I said a gin. Yeah. What do you call your box of pew? And, and Jin just puts his like his, his paw up. Oh, it's quite it. sweet actually. Yeah. He is actually he's good. Yeah. Does he Sorry like? For can he attack or anything? Uh, well, he might do more interesting things now. Ooh. I feel more. I'm excited so, uh, to see. More, huh? Leveled. Ooh, friend. <laughs> Ooh, foxy friend. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Let's both thumbs up. Should we move on? <laughs> yeah, let's go. What let's was, go. Let's go. So what's on behind where they so were. looking around there's a small alcove um, uh, there's a small alcove in the wall to the east um, uh, east and west actually there's a couple of little alcoves where they were which uh, the skeletons were standing in when they stepped out um, mm-hmm. to see you um, so there's those and then the corridor carries on to the south uh, ahead of you where you can see um, that it bends around um, to the east when it gets down there let's carry on yeah. this way it bends to the west rather we carry on okay in the same formation all right you carry on past the alcoves down the corridor uh, and around the corner um to where you um uh, to where you arrive at a stone door with the seal of phasma on it oh, it's a seal of phasma you guys i know this because i'm phasma guy phasma girl i hate that phasma whatever i've look, got this i've look, got this i hate to say that. have you Look, once you finish singing, I'm, we've only got two chimes. Yeah, I mean, we've got this one door yeah. and then the exit. But this looks it. like a big door for us, man, you know? I mean, it was guarded by four skeletons. It must be important, right? Exactly. And Fuck it. Should we do the last one on this door? All right. We know the way back, right? All right. I think Velda maybe knocks the chime against the uh, thing. We go to Chime Watch UK and we reduce <laughs> ourselves down to one chime left. One chime left. The door, the seal glows for a moment uh, and, the, uh, <laughs> and the doors slide open, uh, revealing a room caked in a layer of dust um, with heavy red curtains all around it. Um, uh, the only part where they meet, you know, where they don't um, cover the wall, is a flat section of wall um, on which you can see carved um, six runes uh, with a gap. You might say a niche or a niche. <laughs> <laughs> is it a windy niche? <laughs> <laughs> missing uh, in the uh, missing from them in the middle. Um, there, yeah, there's thick dust on the floor and the curtains on the walls. It looks like this room has been disturbed. <sighs> We just wasted our last. What, what are the runes? This is this is the runes of the runes uh, appear to uh, the runes appear to be the runes for uh, envy, um, gluttony, sloth, greed, pride, and lust. The rune for wrath is missing. Oh shit! The rune for wrath is always missing. That's the, the wrath need, rune. The one we, need. we didn't pick it up from um, Spears well, Morgan, did no, we? Well, we no, checked him. We checked him. No, no, we didn't. There we was, did there check was, him. We, we checked the, him. We took you the what was, what was the locked room? You never went in it. We never, we never went, went in, in it. Did we? No. What was the what was the rooms that we went in? Uh, went in lust. Went in lust. Wrath. We went in Ross as well. We didn't yeah, go in we Gluttony because of the dust. We might. No, we, yeah, we could go back and check Gluttony because we killed Biggie, Biggie Zombie, didn't we? Yeah, Biggie. And then we yeah, can we, open that. There was a lot. Maybe we need here. to like pop back and check some other things. You know. I'd say, do you know, what? I'd say locked was probably envy. Let's yeah, get envious of yeah. something. You lock it away, don't you? And then wrath. Okay, who votes that we go back all the way oh. to? I think if we go back and check on the things and see. I if mean, let's check this room a bit more as well. But yes, definitely. Yeah. Do that. Okay. All right. Okay, well, we go in and well. do a perception check. Okay, around. go for it. Perception checks. It's rolling a little bit better now. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Twenty. A twenty. Ooh. Ah. Twenty-one. A twenty-one. All right, you are um, you're all about to leave and go back down uh, when Shania you pull aside one of the curtains uh, and behind it is a wooden door. There's a wooden door, guys. 
Er wurde denn da? Do we open it? Yes, of course. Okay. Open it. I check it for traps. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Come sliding in. Uh, it is not trapped. I kick it the fuck open. <gasps> no <gasps> kicking. As you kick the door, it opens, uh, and there is a twang from us the other side as a um, as an arrow trap goes off, uh, shooting an arrow into Caragor's midriff, dealing seven points of damage. Oh, worth it! Oh, it was worth it! Oh, oh! I stop to see if I'm, I feel poison coursing through my body. Uh, no, there is no poison. Oh, worth it. God, worth it. Worth it. Uh, you hear movement coming from the room beyond. Uh, and as you look up through it, uh, looking around the room, you can see uh, it is a uh, it is a bare room. You reckon it might have once been a crypt, but it's been cleared out of things. The dust on the floor here is regularly disturbed. Um, and you can see there is another door on the far side of the room. However, standing in between you and that door um, is an alchemical zombie and an alchemical skeleton, both dressed in fine robes. They look up as you enter the door and begin um, stepping through um, the, uh, the doorway towards you. And that is where we leave it for tonight. Ooh. Nice. Alchemical. Alchemical. Hold down chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad that it was actually a trap. Hey, Dangerlings, it is my favorite part of the podcast right now. It's where you get to be involved in the story that we're telling. We are rapidly approaching the final conclusion of the Godsmouth Heresy, and that means that we need a new module to play once we're done with that. We've got three to pick from. They're going to be up on our social media this week. You can go and vote on them. Are you going to send everyone to go and fight orcs and devils in Daughters of Fury? Are you going to send the guys to go and investigate a tomb in the deserts of Assyria in Risen from the Sands? Or are you going to send them to infiltrate a fanatical cult in Masks of the Living God? Go and get on our Facebook, get on our Twitter, get on our Instagram. You can tell us on our Discord if you like. Let us know which of those modules you want to play next, and I will find a way to put it into this crazy story that we are telling. See you next week. Hi, everyone. This is Hanno. And this is Stephanie. And we're from the Gotham Knights Podcast and... The Orville Lights Podcast. The Gotham Lights Podcast is a fan cast dedicated to the television show Gotham. And sometimes the television show The Orville. And if either of these things tickle your fancy, then by all means, reach out to us on Twitter, at Gotham Lights, on Facebook by searching Gotham Lights, and also by means of email, Podcast at gmail.com. 